Hey, it's Bandor. Welcome back. This is part three of our modeling series on how to uh, use Blender and Substance Painter to texture objects and then bring those objects into Second Life so that they look the best in Second Life. In this video, we're going to talk about how to get our ambient occlusion maps out of Substance Painter, what they are, and then how to use them in Second Life with our model and combine it so that you get it uh, looking really well. So an ambient occlusion map, it's a 2D texture that shows all of the stuff that you see on the model right now, as far as shadows, highlights, uh, and things of that nature, except for the shadows. So if I turn shadows back off, I'm sorry, if I turn shadows back off here, it'll look like that. So this is basically what, what you'll see when we're done. It'll look like this inside of Second Life. So to get the ambient occlusion maps out of here, I can show you what it looks like if I switch um, Substance Painter to 2D and 3D view. Right now it's in 3D only. So this is 2D and 3D. You see the 3D on the left. On the right is the 2D textures um, for all of the different maps that we've generated when we did the bake. So this is the what's called the material map. This is the called the 2D view of everything combined. So if I were to take this into Second Life, I could just put it on the model and it would look just like it does there. Um, you also have a whole bunch of others. You have diffuse. We don't have any diffuse applied right now. That's why it's not showing any. You can go down and look at uh, ambient occlusion. So there you see that's what the ambient occlusion would look like for the left arm. There's dark spots where it's where the light isn't hitting at all because it's connected to another part. And you can see a gradient effect here where two parts touch each other. So this gives a very realistic look to your model when you have an ambient occlusion applied to your model. So let's go back up to uh, material view and see the, the finished product. And I usually keep it in 3D only because I, I just don't really care about seeing the 2D model. All right, so to, to get it out, we have to export. So we're going to go up to File, Export Textures. Now, you'll notice all of the parts listed over here. These are your shading maps. So this, again, are the names that we provided in Blender for the materials. Um, just like when you created the new project, you had to pick an input template. Well, to get things out of here, we need to create an output template. And it doesn't come with one for Second Life. So we're going we're gonna to copy one and make our own. And to do that, you go to this tab called Output Templates. The one that I find is closest, just like the one for input, there's one that's very similar for output, is this one called V-Ray Next. But you'll notice it produces a whole bunch. Each one of these rows is a different map that gets created. This is the diffuse map, specular map, a glossiness map, a height map. There's a normal. Then there's a whole bunch more that we don't need. So I could come here and I could edit this, change it, but then I would destroy this one. And I might need it someday. One day I might ever, I might, I don't know why, but maybe I would want to do that. So instead what I can do is I can copy it. So you click this button to copy it. And then I edit it to make my own and save it as Second Life. Well, I've already done that. So this is the one I created for Second Life. And I created a diffuse, a normal, a specular, and an AO. And the way you create these is you simply click the buttons across the top for what you need. So I know I want to diffuse, and I know a diffuse is going to be color, so it's going to be RGB. So I clicked the RGB button, and it created this row. Then I come over to these, which are the maps, and I drag them in there for the one I wanted. And the one I want for my diffuse is this one called 2D View. 2D View is what I just showed you a minute ago over here, which is, if we go back to the 2D View, that's the 2D View. And when you apply paint on here and you put some texturing on here, that's going to show up here, but it's going to be a combination of the texture plus all the shadows from the AO plus all of the shadows from or the effects from all of the other maps. So you want to use 2D view to drive. Go back where I was. So to drive this diffuse, we want that. So you just grab 2D view here, bring it up and drop it on that little chiclet and pick RGB channels. Next one is normal and so you do again you click RGB and then you grab normal open GL from here drag it and drop it there. Next one is specular that's a grayscale image so you can pick gray and then specular is right here 
I tried using this one. It didn't look as good. This one looks better. I'm debating on whether or not I want to start switching to using height map. I think height map's probably the better choice because it's also grayscale. But for now, let's use speckler. So you drag speckler from there into this little chiclet and you're done. Last one is the AO. So I know that's also grayscale. So you click gray to get this row. And then you come up here to mixed AO. You pick mixed AO and you drag it and drop it in there. And then you're done, and that's your output template. Uh, once you have your output template in place, we can uh, actually start to export. So we go over here. These are all our parts. And this is where I pick my template. So right now the output template is set to V-Ray Next. That's not going to work for me. I have to go up and pick Second Life, which is the one I created. Set it to 16 bits, and then set dilate uh, padding to dilation plus default background color. Then on each one of these, you're going to click it, and you're going to undo all of the things I don't want. I only want the ambient occlusion right now. I'll come back and do the rest of them later, but for right now, I only want the AO. So turn these off. Go to the next one, turn them off. And as you as you turn things off, you get a little asterisk here to tell you that something's not the default. Something's been changed. So keep doing this, turn them off, and go all the way down the list and turn all of them off, except uh, uh even the shadow. So we're going to do that for ambient inclusion. And then I'm going to pause the video while I do that, and I'll come back and resume once I have it done. Okay, I'm back. I've just gone through and turned off the diffuse the normal in the spec for all of the different um, texture sets that I have in my, in my model, and I'm ready to export. So to export, you just come down here and click export. And it's going to be doing a bunch of calculations and stuff. See, it's already done. That's how quick it is. So it's now exported all of the AO maps for this model into the default folder. Um, and so that's all we're going to do in this video. In the next part, we're going to go into Second Life. We're going to bring the model in. We're going to bring the AOs in, and we'll combine them. So thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you again in a few minutes.